Jordan, whose hearts will be broken at the end of the day. You know, I can't imagine what's going on through in the minds of these players because there's so much riding on this and yet again, we see it go all the way. Yeah, Bigger Keeper couldn't let the NIP off the hook that easy now, could they? And Bigger Keeper even went out the knife round. So they still, they got this momentum. They picked the CT side. Let's see how this goes. And they're going to go aggressive over towards A main as well. As NIP decide to push their efforts over towards mid. But this bomb is alone out towards A. And if it get if it falls, this is getting a bit crazy. Oh no, that bomb is taken down. Paulie again over towards A main. Aim. Brings out the aim in her name. But can't bring out the aim against Kyosa. It's Naomi left for the clutch. They've been flawless on T-Pistols. Can they keep it going? Oh, they can't. Big a keeper. Went out. The CT pistol. The CT pistols have been... Uh, I mean, not necessarily the stronger suit, but... Here we go. Ancient is where it is at. Immediately off to a great start. And of course, having all the momentum off the back of Mirage. Certainly is nice to see them continue in that fashion. Now, NP, no bomb plant, absolutely nothing in the bank. We'll have to just go in with their pistols, and there's a lot of Utah flying their way. Ooh, a bit of a cheeky angle here from Aim. Just being patient. In fact, this is this is such a weird route. <laughs> They're having no idea that Aim is behind that corner. Maybe it was on a peaks. Oh, there Ooh. is the opportunity. Needs to be careful not to get swung from behind. Now the rest of the team will come and overwhelm. I love this coming out of NIP. Sure, there's CT oh, is no. very, very close. Oh, no, Xander. Oh, no. Oh, no. And damage already taken. So that means there is no round restart. And that means it's a two on three retake. Ramzin has found an MP9 in the process. Oh no. Oh no. Uh -oh. If only NIP knew. If only oh. NIP knew. They just needed two players. But they don't get anything. They can keep it, get it all. Still very close. And a good effort. You know, bomb plan and everything secured. This is still a very good round coming out of NIP. Could have gotten, I guess. A little bit better. But now, 8K is on the table, ready to bring the fight in round number three. If everyone is involved. I mean, everyone is in the server, but don't mind the HUD, because the HUD is having a little uh, little drunk moment with the Zana still being stuck <laughs> over towards Speedway. Um, that's not quite the case. So it's a mystery, at least to us, <laughs> as to where she is sitting across the map. I heard there was some like, new invisibility hacks in Rocket League. Maybe that's what uh, Zana has oh. right now. <laughs> She's not on the HUD. This is interesting. Aim gets caught out over towards B main. And immediately some defensive smokes over towards mid. As NIP conga line through Donut. Yenkin has not budged over towards A main. All he's alone, but I think Zana is still here. I can't really check on the menu. Out. There she is. There he is, that orb singing in the trees. Holy gets Burns aggressive, alive. but denied. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to see, even sure. One HP. But they keep the CTs out of the side, at least for the time being. But the cleanup needs to be good. There's a trade. But now the numbers, the HP, not quite in favor. Ramsden still alive and kicking. Takes a bullet, but doesn't matter. She finds a second kill. And now 2v2. Never mind that. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, the, the HUD was... Uh... Yeah, Zana still doesn't exist, Zana, but she's No, here. Zana doesn't exist in the heart, <laughs> but uh, was apparently already down. The, 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 those things happen. Um, so it was eventually the Kobe that landed the final kill. What a wild way to end the round. 
I want to see this nade. Come on, show the nade. Show but it's it. all up to Ramzan. Ramzan now. Yeah. One HP for Jenkin. And it's just Ramzan. But, oh, I think it's the... No, Co oh. <laughs> no Kobe tribute. Oh. Tusk, tusk, tusk. Unlucky. Unluckos. And unlucky for Bigger Keeper. As they're back onto some pistols, we do have an MP9 still in play. They want to keep that economy kind of at the same level, except for Xana. I think this is the correct Xana now. So I that she can so actually have op money. Well. Op money, potentially. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I don't think bit. this round yet on the side of NIP, I see people standing up. So hopefully... <laughs> it almost looked like she was about to do some stretching. <laughs> I, I think it, I think it's uh, Goose Breeder who does yoga in between mm. um, tick pauses or timeouts. Or I think yeah, tick yeah, yeah. pauses. Does some yoga. Maybe does some down dog with Bailey. <gasps> oh, I love that. You know, we have Maybe not even seen down. Bailey. We have not seen Bailey. I have been robbed. I've seen Bailey <laughs> on ESO Impact streams. I've seen everybody else's cats, dogs, but we haven't seen the one and only Bailey. The infamous Bailey. The infamous yeah. Bailey. Didn't get to see her once. Ah! The rage. Uh. Rage. Well, <laughs> hopefully the rage is of the only short duration as we are back in the game. So once again, action pack. Now, not too much money on the end of it. Gonna be going for oh. a cheeky push, but falling short in the process. <laughs> the check is just handed two pretty much for free. Naomi finds Jenny R and pretty much everyone across this side of the map taken out. They even have actually uh, it's Aim who's sitting on a bit of a, a lurk play behind the B main doors. In case anyone were to push through that way. So they got good control over the map and Nip is not really even too keen on committing to a bomb site as of just yet. Knowing that it is for the majority pistols that you're going up against. I wonder if they suspect the MP9. Because they did see some pistols, not really an MP9 or any other SMGs. Oh, the MP9's spotted out, but doesn't get anything. Just does a lot of damage in the process. He also could get an easy kill. Jenkin tagged up. Four more players to go. Ace Clutch coming on in. <laughs> I'd love to see it. It would be very nice if she just lands a shot or two. Naomi was jumping up and down. I'm not sure if she had a bit of a jump buck action going on or if she's just, she's just jump scouting. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly we what we wanted to see. Okay, there it's only one. Ooh. But we love some lovely deagle kills. But, but that scoreline is uh, is all tied up. And no, I don't want to say this is a it could be a repeat of Mirage, but knowing how previously this map went into OT, I think we're certainly in for a ride. Bam! Sorry, I had to give it a little bit of sound effect because that <laughs> that just needed a sound effect. That's just nasty. But what was also nasty was Jenkins' opening kills. That position over towards A main, that boosted elevated position. I've never seen that before. And how difficult for it to clear because there's a plant in front of them as well. They can't really get the quite angle and Naomi gets overwhelmed in the process. Kiara trying to find something, can't even find anything. And that's two yeah, AKs yeah. picked up. Oi. Just need to get that bomb out of there real quick, get it planted because these CTs are not going to be stopping, hoping to deny it. Okay. Well, this is now a bit scary. 2v1, Juliana with an AK in hand, spots the head of Ramzin. And she's sort of stuck behind the box on sight. But Juliano plays the long game, tries to wrap around, but it looks like they are ready for it. Oh, this is so good. They set that bomb out towards the B-bomb side and have aimed to just wait for her. Know exactly what's going on in the book of Big. So... NRP in the lead. You know what's a common thread? We always see Big and Keeper versus NRP and the starters, and it's also common to see Fearless Cheaters going all three maps. This entire season has been two ones, so going all three maps, and we go to a third map again. They take down one wing gang, 13 to 10, they're going on to a third as well. Keep the tradition alive. Keep it alive.
Elsa about to be tested here. How much can she do? Spots the second player, lands the second player. And immediately trouble is up for NRP because they failed to get the trades. And wow, Big is having one hell of a haul down this B-bomb site. It just seemed like there was just no space. NRP being too worried, especially out of, uh, out of Cheetah as to where players will be coming from. I think maybe just a bit of a communication error in this sense. Everyone a bit too panicked as to where to look. And now just KR, one versus three, not impossible, but definitely not an easy task when you are up against Zona with that AWP. And immediately, NIP feel that this is not gonna come easy whatsoever, calling a timeout here. Brilliant crossfire. But it was just all Kyo said, those two initial kills, and then they don't suspect anybody over towards cave. And Juliana emerges, comes in for the trade. Easy pickings. 3 to 3 going blow for blow. Also, little update on the community stream as well. VP against Navi Javelins. We currently have an overtime on our hands on Inferno. That's the second map. Navi did win the first one. And if they win the second map as well, they are qualified as well to Dallas. But seems like they too have quite the battle on their hands. NIP go fast into mid, but get denied by JNR as JNR triple kills. Last two players behind the smoke awaiting their demise at the hands of JNR. A bit of a shame. NIP, of course, bursting in towards middle, hoping to get something out of it. You have that one AK on your back but yeah the start not quite being the best and immediately a very small window to try and capitalize off of it oh that is a missed opportunity though shot not quite landing now i don't think get up because still make this ramp work considering that the bomb is over towards middle and there is a bazillion players guarding it but it would be nice if they can still do a little bit more damage maybe take the orb away, not quite going to be the case. All five remain alive on the side of Big, and this is coming off the back of a timeout as well. So, yeah. I mean, of course, th this had very limited amount of weaponry behind it, so I reckon timeout partially was for this round to come up next. There's a lot riding on this for NIP. Potentially we'll be seeing another, maybe another round for Big. Not too sure. Oh, look at all, oh, Molly's nades galore over towards B-Man. Ouch. Everywhere you look, there's just fire. It's a blaze. Uh -oh. Flushes left and right and aim. She actually, this, this is not the first time we see her sit behind that box, but she outplays Kyosa. Even though Kyosa had the right idea. Now, big. Starting off the round with a player down. Maybe getting tempted here to push, sandwich them out towards the main. Juliana gets up close and personal. Misses a window of opportunity yet again. Zana there to support, but Jenny Air gets tagged from behind, and suddenly it might be big who gets sandwiched a little bit, and then needs to be careful not to overextend. Ooh, getting a bit dicey. There's going to be a battle in Red Room. But whose blood will stain the walls? Will it be Jenny R or Jenkin? I know it's a bit of a gruesome analogy. Oh. But it will be Jenny R. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. That is not the way that fight should have been going down. And the fact that Juliana found a kill on the back of it. Zana now catches Kiara, and this round is crumbling. NIP only have 15 seconds left on the clock to get that bomb planted. And there is fire in their way. 
They can't get onto the side. They just have to give it up. I was hoping to see some through the fire and the flames. Yeah, that song from, I think it's Dragon Force. But we don't get to hear it. They just let the timer tick on down. At least they save onto their AKs as money's looking a bit tight. Looking very tight for NIP. Oh, that, that very, I felt that round was NIPs all the way. They were able to push back big very far because they were getting aggressive on that CT side. And then in the middle of the round, that red room battle, if only that would have flipped in the favor of NIP, they could have, could have gotten a lot of map control and really punished big. Now, this is another test in the wings. Very fast paced aggression. Tried to overwhelm that orb. Only problem being, Zana still getting a kill, and Jenny R now winds another one through the smoke. But the fight is not quite done just yet. It's now aim. Found herself an AK, upgraded from the Mech 10 in a 1 versus 2. A lot of time to work with, but yet again, it is that bomb that has dropped on the site. Aim does have a bit of the element of surprise. You could have actually waited behind that, that smoke in Donuts. Akiosa is watching, Ooh, but did not see the cross. See if AIM can find our kill. Ooh, spots her in the corner. Caught up a monitor, but spotted by both friends and Molly out. Denied any aggression. She lingers behind. As Kyoso waits for her prey to walk into her hands. And she does. Six to three. Bigger keeper double up on the rounds of NIP. Yeah, now things start to get dicey. And I pee out of cash. At most, they can buy an upgraded pistol here. But around certainly is starting to slip away in towards Big's favor. It was free to free, and now Big suddenly managed to find a way to double that scoreline. And they're in a pretty solid position, money wise, too. So even if Big now were to lose a round, they're not going to be in too much trouble. In fact, NIP now eco this one out as expected. Met with a lot of fire. It's still alive. Not really burned too much. Just have to wait it out. Maybe not go for a fast early entry. Maybe wait for the right timing. Maybe that smoke can actually help them out. You know, you have, I guess, a bit of coverage. Um, or at least you are not going to get spammed. Well, why I say that? <laughs> Never mind. That was, in fact, a spam. And the horde seems to be solid. Pretty much left and right, everyone getting a kill. And it's only one in return. Zana did fall with the orb, but Zana also has 11k. So it doesn't seem to matter at all. And this is getting a bit, a bit scary for NIP. It's the last few rounds of the half, and you really can't even play the economy game because you got Zana with... Yes, 11k, now 8k in the bank. Still a lot of money left. Two rounds left to play for this half. But she's set for life. She's set for the half. So it's not going to be an economy game. It's going to be a bullet game. And Kiara finds an opening. Okay, you got the opening. Can they convert? There's one player over towards A. And that player's getting aggressive. If they can find this jewel, A is open for business. There's also a play getting aggressive behind that smoke in mid as well. Yeah, I love this. And at, at this moment, Big is really trying to deny space and control. Might oh. get a bit too cocky, but that was a lovely first kill coming out of Giuliano. But NIP are very much ready for pushes like those to come around the corner. So they maintain that player advantage. And NIP not overly committed just yet. You need to be a bit careful because right now they do lack the map control. But do not even have speedway. They're just all waiting outside of doors. And now Paulie is having pushed in towards middle. No one's home. So they are certainly smelling as to what is coming around the corner. And a dry peak certainly is the opportunity for Paulie to at least make the numbers even again. Kiosa. 
stops Jenkins and her tracks, as well as Xana. It's Naomi left in the clutch, but the flick, the quick re-peak was just insane from Zana. That smile of happiness as it's 8 to 3 and NIP waste another timeout as you go into the final round of the half. And a five round lead in favor of Big Keeper. This, this duel in mid. Juliana had no business even finding a single kill. There's three players looking right at mid. She still finds one and immediately makes the rest of the team. Nope, we're going to go B. We're going to go B, but A was completely open this whole time. Yeah, you already see that the confidence peaks coming out of big. Because often, especially on the previous map in that first half, on Mirage, things were still quite close. And you saw big being a bit hesitant to maybe go for very aggressive plays. But right now, they're not being shy. They know that they have the edge over NIP. And it seems like they really want to give them no room to play their own game. And this is supposedly one of the best maps of NIP right now. I am not seeing any of it, unfortunately. Kiara also the first one to fall. And it's sort of the same Rodeo here for Big. They smoke deep middle, they actually re-smoke it right now. Really deny any sort of re-entry. Regaining of that part of the map. So you're sort of stuck with... Uh, yeah, going either... Well, just from B doors, which is now also smoked. Or maybe regroup. Still, there's a lot of time. So, decision won't have to be made just yet, but... Certainly, there's a lot of pressure now riding on NIP's shoulders. All huddled up towards mid. Tinkin goes a little bit of... Bird watching, bird spotting, but doesn't spot any birds. Doesn't even spot a single bear. That's when they make their move. And Big have got a lot of info. There's already a player actually pushing behind them. So I thought they can do enough delaying here, or this could come and bite them right up the butt. Jenkin will push in towards Temple. She will go like the tag. But still, Giuliano fights two frags. This is now a very dire scenario. Giuliano just eats everyone alive. Finds all of them. And that is nine rounds on the table for Bigger Keeper as we go into half number two.
Mr. Mirage, Big certainly are starting to rally up towards that finish line. They were hungry for a comeback, and what a comeback it has been. So far, so good on half number one here on Ancient. I'll decide a map to find out who's still in the race for Dallas. And NIP, this is their final shot to start their own road of a comeback because they're going to need it. All I can imagine is NIP and Big, they're currently in the starting gates of like a horse race. They're both banging on that door. I think Bigger Keeper's got a bit of a looser gate, so it'll open a bit quicker. Potentially, this could fall into their hands, but like, look at this read. Bigger Keeper waltz onto an A-bomb site so completely free. Be a five-player retake. Yenkin with a great blinding kill onto Pauli. Still goes in for more, gets aggressive. A lot of players here, nothing connects. Xana connects on two. It's Naomi left in the clutch again, but Giuliano denies. It's 10 to three, double digits for bigger keeper. They just need three rounds to close it out. And they have the road potential of making their way to Dallas. And once again, denying NIP the opportunity of even having the thought come into their mind. Also, what a story it would be right now with Big winning and their last land uh, appearance was Valencia, but not the last Valencia, the Valencia even before it in 2022. So it's been a while since we have seen Big on the big stage. And they are hungry for it. Player spotted here. Oh, the pistols! So far reign supreme. Big maybe not too keen. <laughs> to go towards the B-bomb set right now. It's out so heavily stacked on the side of NIP. Went for fours here. Be nice if this is the way for NIP to bounce back. But, oh, look at that. Jenkins sure gets tagged up. That's one kill. Will be immediately traded. And with that, an empty A-bomb site. But NIP is picking up the pace. Merely gonna start to run in towards Dona. Need to be careful. Jenny R is here to hold the players down. Not quite against the MP9 of Kayara. First one, further damage dealt and further kills found. Naomi with a kill upon Zana. And now Giuliano went for a bit of a cheeky fake plant. Trying to maybe force a player out. One player spotted. That is Ramsin just slightly tagged up. So I think Juliano has the right idea as to where both players are positioned, but runs in, has the corner angle and lands the headshot. NIP with a fours by make it a fourth. What a recovery round from NIP. They get the job done. That opening kill over towards B set the precedent. And that immediately pushed away the offensive from Bigger Keeper. They headed on over towards A. That kill from everything here, Jenkin. The MP9, I thought that was a done deal. But Genia goes to her, she finds the kill, but the players from behind find players through the smoke and they just deny. And Ramson, the closer, makes her mark again. Fast off onto B. But all the players, all the NIP are off their mark. The original flash was absolutely brewing, blinding two players. And now Ramson started the cleanup game, of course, up against the force bite on the opposite side. But this time, NIP, they show how it's done. Only one loss taken. But of course, NIP is not quite there just yet. Now they have at least got a couple more rounds in the bank. But Big is still doubling the scoreline of NIP. Good news is... It is um, still low money on the side of big with the previous one being a fours. So this should technically be a six round in the book for NIP. And maybe 10 to six. That's already a more likable scoreline. Yeah, we like to see a 10 to six. That just... You've got to get this ball right in really on this CT side. You need... I Potentially, they need to be kind of flawless in these opening rounds. We lost the pistol, but able to get their recovery round. Brilliant stuff, but they just need to keep this momentum going. And already they're setting off on a good note. 
throws in that molly to mid as well as accompanied by smoke as well and it just holds everybody in their tracks naomi jump peeking hope he doesn't get caught oh there's actually a bit of team damage oh there's an imposter oh. among big <laughs> not quite the way you want to be starting off that round but who knows i thought maybe for a second big wanted to ramp up and make a lot of noise towards a maybe send that bomb for a feet fake towards b but looks like bomb will be crossing over also, quick update on two of our other games. Na'Vi managed to win out that overtime and actually qualified to Dallas. So a big congratulations to them. And let her cook also won against Spirit 2-1. So that might throw some uh, spicy things up in the standings. As here, we have a lovely eco clean up. Sixth round on the board for NIP. And now, this is where the endurance game begins. Jared's game and the mental game. Biggie Keepers still have the mental game. They still got a lot of rounds to play with. They got a little bit of a buffer. But NIP, they got that momentum game going. And they keep it up. Need to have some flawless defense. I think we we're talking about how their defense crumbled on Mirage. But it can't crumble here. It can't crumble like the runes of ancient. The walls are crumbling around them, but they cannot crumble. Ooh, who gets caught out here? Yeah, it's Giuliano that gets caught out. Jenkins finds the opening kill. Aim once again on this box gets denied the aggressive peak, but finds the kill onto Kyosa. Time and time again, we see this jewel here. Should be a plaque on that box. Kyosa versus Aim. <laughs> no matter which side we are on, it seems to always be happening. Paulie, maybe overextends there a little bit. Hoped. To maybe open up the beat bomb or the a bomb site now the bomb does cross having a very tough battle with the ak rams in naomi is here to support as well and nip hoping to make this another clean round jenny are spotted now too just running away as far as possible maybe having a hero ak in the round to come would be nice but still it's quite a long time to save that ak As you're waiting for potentially the final frag to take place. We got a bit of an update on how the standings work. So tomorrow we'll be seeing Leto Cook take on Guild for a chance to qualify to Dallas. As you, oh, I'm getting the, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Production's like, mm, hold on, maybe Don't, not. <laughs> maybe not. This is where it gets a bit tricky, you know, it's, it's so confusing looking at the standings and be like, wait, this rule comes into play, but this rule comes into play first. Then we're trying to crunch the numbers because it's not as simple yeah. if you look at just round difference. So if you look on HLTV, you see a standings there. It's not really kind of like that. We also got to, we first take a look at who beat who out. Like this battle here, Jenkins beat out Giuliano <laughs> and Aim beat out Kyosa. One more kill from Naomi. Nasty stuff, cleaning up the frags. But it gets a bit complicated of who beat who in the zoo. Since Guild has beaten both Big and NIP, they kind of ahead of them in the standings. So they would they will keep their second place. So right now this battle here is for third. So they will take on whoever's in second place over on group over B. In, yeah. Which is apparently still a little bit up in the air. <laughs> so yeah. we're waiting it's uh, so confusing. for all those confirmation as uh, the day progresses. But that's the wild thing that even when you think, you know, this game is done and dusted, oh, they've won. No, every little thing, you know, if you've ever won a map against a certain team, if you've ever beaten a certain opponent, all these little things can weigh into what makes or breaks your Potential qualifying game tomorrow if you win oh. today. Big is starting off with master firepower. Jenny R, maybe not even looking to stop. Now it has been prevented that opportunity. Never mind. They go for a smoke. But that was the hero we've seen AK Big well. get a bit cocky left and right. But a trade is there. Once again, oh, left and right, in fact. NRP still a player down. 
Now, player already up on the bomb side. Will Paul Lee get spotted? Yes, but Kyosa is so good when it comes down to these refrags and Juliano to support. Doesn't matter that she had a deagle. She brings Bigger Keeper to 11. So even though NIP was catching up, Big now only needs two more. They need two more rounds. And they have the potential of qualifying. They halt this four round winning streak from the NIP. They still got the money in the bank. They invest everything. Once again, nice aggressive push into Donut. And we do have confirmation. We are correct. Letter Cook will take on Guild tomorrow. Asterix, just in case I get it wrong. <laughs> Which should mean that whoever wins this one is going to be facing off against Fearless Cheaters. So, definitely not an easy opponent. And we've actually seen that battle before. Yeah, because big wins. Major yeah, big have faced off against nine pandas. I don't know how many times. Also in the siding matches. And it's been nine pandas that come out on top. And I say that because majority of the players on Fearless Cheetahs are from nine pandas. Kind of some history. They got some history. And it keeps repeating itself, or at least... What it looks like right now. Good trade from Naomi. Oh my lord. The kill feed is full with Naomi as she grabbed a lovely 3k support flashbang from her twin sister. And now NIP hoping to found a Ram back and rams in adds another kill to the list. Leaving it on to Kyosa. She has been doing phenomenal for the side of big. But 15 seconds has the bomb on her back. But there's no time to run towards B or is there? Well, no, Ramson is going to be denying it. NIP still in this game, still on that comeback hunt. Ramson, you cannot hide. You cannot run, Spider-Man. I will find you. He finds Kyosa trying to get onto that B-bomb. If, potentially, if got onto that B-bomb site. Potentially clutch situation, but it's Naomi holding strong. The opening player falls. On the A bomb side, looking like all hopes lost, but Naomi comes up with a miraculous triple kill. We got this play again from Bigger Keeper. They got this hero AK. It worked on in that pre in that round that they won on their T side. Let's see if they can convert it again. This is quite a gamble from, from NIP. A lot of players over towards mid. One in CT spawn. And the rest over towards on B. Ooh, that nade is chunky onto Jenny R. Naomi's still here, lingering in wait. But it has herded Bigger Keeper over towards that stack on B. Genial just making the presence known over towards mid. Oh wait, I think we have another issue with play number seven. Nope, play number seven is moving. And everybody's moving on the B side. All movement, but everybody on Bigger Keeper falls. It's just Genial in a 1v5. And they know where you're hiding. They know where they're lingering. It's 11 to nine. NIP still trailed by two. But a great CT half so far. Has been impeccable. And this is gonna be especially dicey if NIP win this next round because right now they continuously have to bring all the last bits of their bank to the table. So yet again they can buy. They can definitely make it to a 12 here and then close it out. But there is a lot of pressure riding on big to get this round in their favor. A lot eight. of footsteps good, but exactly. There is no damage. And there's a lot of space here for M uh, for big in towards middle. At least the smokes will keep them at bay for now.
I always get concerned now when I look at the mini map and one of the players doesn't move. I'm hoping not another Zana situation. But we're all good. Game jump peeking. Hopefully she doesn't lose her head. Because you've seen her time and time again. She doesn't lose her head. But Kiara finds Kyosa and finds another. Makes it a triple. Aim with one of her own. Makes it a double. A cleanup on the B start. And it's 10 rounds for NIP. What were they? Three and nine? Yep. <laughs> wow. 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 This is absolutely wild. Now, of course, it's not done till it's done, but this is promising. The way they are getting fired up and the way the big are starting to sweat is scary. Now, big don't have the funds ready to go for this. You can go at least for a bit of a half buy. So maybe it can be at least enough to do a bit of economic damage to maybe get a bit of an edge over NIP. But Ramzin, still very high impactful frags with that AWP. And Naomi is doing so much work here on this CT side. No hero AK this time around. Did Jenny R lose her pistol or she just dropped it? Ah, she just dropped it. <laughs> Walking in just knives. Just knife. You gotta, res you gotta respect the knife. If somebody runs at you and they start swinging their knife, you gotta go for the knife, Jill. No matter what weapon you have in hand, the Kiara, the knife, the sword is the AK. Cuts two players down. In one fail spray. I love these re-smokes from NIP. Just as soon as one dissipates or one chokehold is ready to go for any push from big, the smoke comes in just in the nick of time to deny anything. Kiara jiggle peeking, trying to search for info and the shot rings out. Forces the retreat because Kiara's low. So one bullet with one of those pistols could meet her demise. Sides against it, hunkers back. And big keep it the three bears, Juliana, Kyosa, and Zana. Head over towards Donut with Naomi. Waity. Well, Flash definitely is already revealing positionings, Ooh. but Naomi quite having the time of her life over there. Aim will make it a bit more uh, Bit more like it. Double kill found and last player. Oh, yeah, very low, shoulder spotted. And aim will make sure that only that one kill is they will get. So this is now looking very favorable actually for NIP. They have the funds to go all the way. Big on the other hand doesn't. So there is so much pressure right now on Big. And it would be a very big fumble if they can't get it over the line here. They need this round. Well, they're following the script. We laid it out at the beginning of this match. We said we're going to we either see overtime or all 24 rounds. And we see we will see all 24 rounds. This match will either end 13 to 11 to other team or we will be going into overtime. Whoever wins this round holds all the cards. <gasps> Oh, that should have been an opportunity for Zana. Player spotted, but the shot's not quite landing. And with that, of course, NOP will, fall, will be falling back. Knowing where the op is coming into play. That very well could have been an, an opportunity for Big to get an advantage, get a lead on. And put pressure up on NIP now. Have to find a way back. That's a lovely... Wait, no, that was a team flash, I think. A flash trying to get control over towards Cheetah, but no. Failed miserably and Ramzin will fall to her death. And that's what you need from an RGL. Giuliano setting the pace. 
setting the standard for the team. She makes so much noise on B, it pulls everybody off of that A bomb site, and it's open for business. And Vicky Keeper just waltz on into a free bomb site, looking to lock in 12 map and series points. Trades are coming back, and a lot of delay happening on the side of NIP. Need to be careful. Kira almost gets caught out of guard by a native poorly with the wrap around the guest through the smoke as big get it to a 12. They finally secure it, but can NIP bounce back? Can they take us to an overtime? Big go keeper, hold all the cards. 12 to 11, and it's all off the back of these plays from Giuliano. Does get found out at the end by Naomi, but those two opening kills, it just relinquishes everybody off the defense of A. They have to go over towards B to help out. It took an army to take down Giuliano. Ooh, Giuliano is getting a bit angsty. He wants to look towards Cheetah. No, somebody's lurking behind that smoke. That's where she found her success in the last round. Will she find it there again? Yilto over towards mid, trying to pull some players off already. That's already one player off of the B-bomb side, so it's left up to two. Oh. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. Away, I want to be kicking off the round. Juliana now finds that opening frag. And with this big, looking to start to build up the tempo. Poorly does fall across the lurk. So big can't quite get that going. And that's a massive kill. Aim goes big with a double. And now NIP, hopefully, this is the moment that they want to get going. Zana, though, Op still in the hands. We know that she can do this. 18 frags behind the name, but the time is so dire. Has the right idea as to where the CTs can be, but gets God of God. Naomi takes us to overtime. Overtime. What a way to be a best of three. We go into overtime onto Ancient. All hope seemed a bit lost there. We just had aim. Aim alone on that B bomb site. Needs to hold on for dear life. Two players ready and waiting to emerge from cave. But she finds both. Zana tries to pull off the 1v4, but only gets the two. And here's the closer from oh. Naomi. The shout of happiness. Oh my hat. We're going all the way. We're still in it, and it's still not done. Big. Oh, this is a fairly interesting round. They are going aggressive and fast in towards this A bomb site, and there's no one home. It only takes this single smoke to take Naomi out. Can't go for a peek. At least they have ramps in deep in CU2 CT, so if anyone were to peek from Temple, they got that. But going to be a bomb plant. Oh, that's a massive frag through the smoke. A lovely guess from Zana. And now, player advantage in favor of Big. Oh, it's and it's raining. It's raining. It's raining in IP. Oh, a sad, sad day indeed. Jenkins oh. lost the life. More nade damage. Oh, Nelly finds the double. Sprays on for more. Ninja? 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 No ninja, way! Ninja, no way! Ninja. Ninja. This NIP. is not allowed! This Nin is just not okay! NIP damaging a player off the back of a nade, making bigger keeper a bit scared. And I guess a smoke is all it takes. NIP, steal that one away. There's <laughs> just no just one hitting anything. 
Oh, and I mean, <laughs> rightfully so. You can see the relief, the excitement, but the adrenaline must be coursing through their bodies yet again. It is big with the opening frag of the round. They are not sitting still. They're not going slow whatsoever. That's a trademark ninja. Ninjas in pajamas. Oi. Okay, JNR. Nice little trade on to aim. Three on four situation. All the players, majority of the players over towards this B bomb site, and Naomi evens the odds. Three to three. But Big and Keeper have got the read. They're ready heading over towards this A bomb site, and it looks like Jenkins is kind of out of position. Making her way through Temple. I mean, Holy only if a player is very keen to push. Oh, you get that handed to free. Backs are turned. And, oh, this is now oh, scary. Yes. Jenkins manages to stay alive. Is forced out by the Molly. And that's a trade. Big still making it a two on two. Switching weapons. Naomi then this time around with the orb in her hands. And rhymes in with the rifle. Jenny are still very much busy with that hold. Maybe looking at middle. Now Jenny R hears what's going on down the bomb side. Juliana wrapped around. Not quite hitting the shots though. Neither. Oh, actually, no, Jenny R does hit that. But Naomi now super low. And Jenny R. Oh, it's gonna be going for it. Does land a shot with the pistol. Snatches away the orb. Very little time there for NRP to work with that. Original duel off on Jenny R and Donut had to be it. And right now, Jenny, I can just wait out the timer. So well done. But these rounds, man, they give me continuous heart attacks. Oh my, oh my. I was getting a bit of a heart attack. Whew. It's 13 to 13. Hey. All tied up. First overtime. First player yeah. to 16. First player to 16. We're playing MR15 again. Feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Back to oh. the old days. Once again, bigger keeper getting that opening. And Zana finds the trade as a soon as Aim found that kill. Now, sure, a couple players close left and right already. But this is by no means an easy retake. They only got, once again, a single smoke in the hands of NIP. Gara being a bit patient. Maybe someone wants to push. Get up close and personal. Actually, makes a lot of noise. She needs to be hitting the shots. Not quite happening. Only Jenkin finds one, but gets tagged very heavily in the process. So Big will find 14. Lead half one by that single round. This is where it gets a bit complicated because NIP on their... Well, they also got three rounds on their, their T side. Same as Bigger Keeper, but they got they got majority of their rounds in an entire half in one half of OT was Bigger Keeper. Bigger Keeper got three rounds on their T side. They got two on their T side in, in the first overtime. So they're really kind of, they're beating the numbers here. Can NIP beat the numbers as well? mid aggression here coming out of big similar like how we saw when they were up on their CT side in that very first half really like to get that map control and dictate the amount of space that NIP can get and this is really what NIP was struggling with up on their T side finding all the way back into the round We have seen this fight happening a lot <laughs> towards the box. Kill some aim once again, sitting in prime position. But this time, NIP may be keen to still get some mid control going, getting flashed in. Giuliano is the one to hold that fight. Doesn't <gasps> quite land the aim. shot. And aim actually won that fight with Kyosa. So Giuliano is forced to go back because otherwise you're going to be losing way too many numbers. But NIP are dawdling a lot. Giuliano and Kyosa were both out of position. They were very, very aggressive hold. 
They had one of the players spotting over towards mid, so they knew that Giuliano was there. Oh, they finally found Giuliano, but Giuliano falls with one. And Zana oh. trying to get the cross, but can't get anything. Aim. Opens up the sight as well. Yeah, and it's just poorly. I'm sure there's plenty of money, but this is the very big ask. And the way that NLP win that one out very confidently, or dominantly, I should say, should give them a good confidence booster. This was really nice. Kill sir. Actually, we've seen a play close towards the other box, only this time being a bit deeper, but it still gets red. NIP feeling that maybe being a, uh, changing the, the, the strap book a tiny bit, but not too much, as their CT side was still solid, but maybe NIP has found some answers, at least here for this first round up on T side. Once again, game is not done yet. We do need either team to win two rounds now in a row, or else overtime number two is awaiting us. NIP always likes to play the passive game on the T side. They just let Baker Keeper do their thing. But that also leaves a bit of a disadvantage in NIP as Baker Keeper get a bit more info on the maps. So they kind of see, okay, nobody's heading over towards mid, so we can kind of leave mid alone. As you can see there, so we got three players over towards B. Jink is just waiting for the aggressive push. But it is not coming yet. NIP are tempted, looking at this A bomb side with a lot of intrigue. They send Jenkin and Kiara on the hunt. Here's that smoke from Rams in the cave. It's the A play. But straight away, this Monty Jenkin pushes through and can't deny Xana and Paulie. The crossfire. Well, the crossfire has been broken. Great kill, at least, to find one back. The time is ticking. Oh, oh. Aim needed to get that kill. Naomi sure finds one kill with that Molotov, but there's no time. Oh, can't even manage to find the cross as big. Now find 15 once again. Up on series point. Only need one more. But the last time around, NIP made it to overtime and now... Possibly overtime number two. But Big have the advantage. NIP need one more to bring us into second OT. Or will history repeat itself and bigger keeper make it 4-0 into starters? The aggression once again they go in very fast when it comes down to speedway really making sure no one is sitting there oh well just a tad a little bit and a follow-up smoke so even though nrp may be curious to see if they can give this another look in for the time being once more denied First, Jenny are winning out these jewels in mid. This is not looking good for NIP. They keep getting pushed in every sort of avenue. Keep getting pushed in mid. They keep getting pushed now in B main. And the numbers advantage falls in favor of bigger keeper. Get a health advantage as well. Jenkins so low. That keeps putting the pressure up on NIP. It's in their hands. They need to be the ones making the first move in Juliana, maybe. On the lookout to try and prevent that. Oh, they know she's peeking. And now maybe you need to invest utility to try and cross. Lose a player on the way. And it's smelling a lot like a big victory. Two versus four. They go for the plan, but Kyosa is ready to push. No, in fact, Jenkin is holding it. And now a bit more likely that maybe they can still hold on.
Grams in a 1v4. She got an Anubis. Needs a 1v3. Gets the first. Shot misses. And the shots just don't land. As Zana ticks the bomb down. 16 to 14. Oh, it's devastating. It, it is. Oh, I don't want to be looking at the player cams right now at NIP, but if you're big, once again delivering in an overtime and once again winning it out is massive. That the longevity